I've got some insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 23. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 5% off at checkout. Now let's get right into this video. All right, boys, so diving into this video, we got a bunch of new trading methods for you guys to use, and these are all going to be based off of the most recent marquee matchups. Now, SBCs like this make trading way, way easier because what happens is obviously there's a bunch of the same cards that get demand at the same time. So there's some great filters out there that we can use based off of this SBC. So the first couple we're going to be looking at are again going to be based off those marquee matchups. First one here is we're going to be looking looking at Bundesliga gold center backs here. So one of the sections is a Bayern versus Hoffenheim marquee matchup, and it's a three back formation, meaning there's three center backs in there. So there's a lot of demand for these Bundesliga center backs right now. As you can see, they'll basically insta sell for 650 coins a piece. So what we're going to do is we can sit here and we can mass bid snipe. We can do whatever we want and pick these guys up for 150 coins under that price. So right now I try to pick these up for 500 coins a piece. Now, I usually don't try to snipe on marquee matchups filters. The reason for that is they're just so contested. There's usually sniping bots on them. It's usually they're just super popular filters. So they're a lot more difficult to pick cards up, which is why I primarily bid on these filters. It's a lot easier to pick cards up and overall just it's just not a waste of time and i think sniping is i think sniping is just really really bad with the amount of bots and stuff out there so you can also play around with different positions in here as well center back is going to be the most popular of them but we can look at right mids and left mids you can see these right mids are 600 a piece we can go look at left mids here what are these selling for these are a little more expensive these are going for like 600 650 a piece you just got to kind of play around with these and find out what's expensive at the moment and those prices are always going to change throughout the week as well so you just got to keep an eye on them next one we're going to be looking at there is a tottenham versus newcastle marquee matchup hold up stop the video if you guys want to make as many coins as possible on fifa 23 make sure that you are following on twitch for all my daily live streams every single day over there we're doing live trading with you guys and answering questions, whatever you may have to help you make as many coins as possible. And make sure you join the Discord as well. We got a premium Discord server for you with all investments, trading tips, everything like that for all the Twitch subscribers. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right back into the action. So we're going to be looking at Premier League cards here. And again, the basic one is going to be center backs here. The center backs insta sell 600 a piece, it looks like. Let's look 650. So it's going to be 600 we're selling these for. So we want to pick these up for 450 or less here. And you can see a lot of cards here. We're just going to go through mass bid 450. If you're not winning them 450, you can either bump your bid up to 500, which really isn't all that bad because you're still, if you're bidding 500 on these, you're going to win every single card. And if you're just constantly flipping cards, you're actually going to make really good coins off of it. And again, you could try sniping these cards if you wanted. I don't even bother. I think it's a waste of time. And yeah, they're going to pop up a ton. It's just they're really difficult to win. And then let's look at left mids, right mids in the prem here. Left mids in the prem are currently about 700 by the looks of things. So if we sell these at 700, we want to pick them up at 550 here. Again, typical rule of thumb, just go 150 coins under what they sell for. And then I'm just going to come through here and mass bid on a bunch of different cards there. And then if I were to go uh, right mid here, let's see what these are going for. You can see you can see like a general pattern of the positions. It's, it's pretty much always just like look at just it's pretty much always just like look at the formation of the spc and chances are those cards the uh the positions that are in that formation are probably up in price right now it really is that simple however like left mids right mids wingers they're typically a little more popular and they go up in price a bit more so you can see here we've won a couple cards we got some other cards so people are bidding 500 on the center back so i would either bump my bid up to 500 when i'm bidding or just go move on to another filter so 
go ahead we got these 450 we'll just list these 600 get rid of those and obviously if you're able to combine bidding and sniping that's a good way to go about it as well i pretty much like i said just primarily do bidding because the amount of sniping bots out there in the community is just ridiculous it seems like everybody uses one so and then the last thing i want to do i didn't even look at the other sections of the marquee matchups i wanted to show you basically how i would like look at it and be like oh there could be a filter on this so let's look at galaxy versus um versus lafc so you need a us player you need two silver players so is there any shot like silver wingers are up in price i feel like that i feel like people are kind of dumb and that could be a. Uh, that could be a thing here. Not really. Silver wingers are like 250, so you could try to bid on those for 150. Now let's look at United States silvers here. Are these up in price at all? Is the question. But bum, but bum. Yes. So U.S. silvers are up in price because people are just doing U.S. silver squads here. So these are 400. You could sit here and bid on these. So that is basically how I go about finding filters. It's just. Look at the SBC, see what's required, and then go from there. Here, I bet you silver French players are up in price quite a bit right now. It requires two French players and minimum player quality silver. So silver French cards are going for a minimum of like 450 here, as you can see. Uh, 500, yeah, it looks like these are going to sell 450. So yeah, it's as simple as that to find filters. Look at these SBCs, analyze what's going to go up in price, and then go play around with the filters. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.